what's your opinion on, on what's happening right now in, in Jerusalem? Well, a little bit of attention yeah, there is. So what, what's, your, what's your take on that? Uh, well, I'm not an expert on internal affairs in Israel, but what I do know is that these tensions have been boiling up, okay, for quite a while. The rabbis, the Orthodox rabbis, are losing members to Messianic Jews, Judaism. 40,000. Right, thank you. What's right. 40,000 40, alone in Israel. In London, where we are, there are people like Jews for Jesus. They've been around for don't decades. So for a long time, those were the ones that people associated Jewish and believing in the Messiah, Jesus, or Yeshua. But in Israel, the rabbis have now met the internet. So the internet is breaking down the barriers between Jews who don't know what the Bible says, whether it's the Tanakh, the Old Testament, or the New Testament, the Gospels. So when they read Isaiah 53 for themselves, and it says, who has believed our report, right? And they're going, what? And then he shall, be he shall die for the sins of the nation. He's, he's pierced, he dies, he's put in a rich man's grave, comes back again. So they're perplexed as to why the rabbis don't want to read Isaiah 52, 53. And yet it is part of the Tanakh, the Old Testament. So the rabbis in, in Israel in particular are upset about dwindling numbers. So they're trying to pressurize the secular government of Benjamin Netanyahu and all these other guys to say, you must pass a law that says Christians, whether they're Jewish or non-Jewish, should not go around preaching the gospel. Okay, so there's tension in that way. But at the same time, a lot of circular Jews are worried that if you start restricting the Supreme Court in Israel from holding decisions that affect all the citizens. Now remember, Israel has got Jewish people, Circassians, Arabs, Bedouin, uh, Christians from different parts of the world, and also uh, Sabra Christians. These are Jews. Or come from a Jewish family and yet they accept Jesus or Yeshua as the Messiah. So these things that come to the surface, uh, so some of the minority parties are trying to push Israel uh, into a non democratic way of behavior. Whereas right now, Israel is open to anyone so long as you obey the law. Right. Which is okay. It's the same thing in Britain, right? That's right? So that is where we should be praying for that common sense would prevail and that the cabinet ministers would not be pushed to either left-wing extremism or right-wing extremism. But they will say, hang on, Israel is not a theocracy like King David, like King Solomon. It is a circular democratic state in the 21st century. However, yes, it is good to try and uh, continue with the, 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 the misvot, the commandments of, under Moses, etc. They're healthy, but you cannot uh, straight jacket people into saying, either you do this, you don't do that. Now that's wrong. Everybody's got a conscience, so you leave them between God and man, or man and God. Okay? So I hope and pray that in Israel, People would actually realize, oops, we shouldn't be going in this direction, but we should have every man in their own conscience. This is what Paul was pleading before Felix in the book of Acts, where he says, Felix, you know what I'm talking about. And he trembled at judgment and righteousness. But that's where Christians come in. So Jews and Gentiles, you need to be aware that the God of Israel is the God of justice. And God judges all sin. If you don't have the blood of Yeshua on you, then you're going to have to answer to God. And I, and I dread to be in your shoes. So if you're a rabbi, and you're watching me and thinking, this black man is an idiot, think carefully. Moses gave us the, 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 the Torah. Okay? And the Torah is actually God's way of bringing people under conviction of sin. Okay? There's only one God. That should not steal. That should not bear false witness against your neighbor. And in too many cases, the rabbis have resorted to tactics of telling lies, 
in court against Messianic Jews just because they're Jewish and they accept Jesus, Yeshua as their Messiah. They should stop doing that because God sees everything. Thank you. God bless you.